Hello guys. Currently I'm actually kind of being bullied by Thomas. He's keep asking me make these types of videos because basically I also started a new channel where I mainly do stuff for Turkish viewers who don't speak English. And yeah, this video is going to be about the minimum required gear that you could use for reenacting World War I German basically. Uh, the most important thing to understand is this set is not actually completely correct in a way. I'm looking at you, my shirt. And there are still parts that need to be improved, such as getting some extra stuff, paperwork, pocket trash, um, taking care of some of the leather parts. Yeah, now let's get started, shall we? Uh, most important thing. For reenacting is getting the right shoes. These are World War One British B5 ammunition boots. Um, as you can see, they do have hobnails, which is what you want in any type of World War One uh, military uniform boot style. Hobnails are always important with boots. Germans actually s captured these throughout the war and used them and even made their own versions pretty actually before the war and many Turkish soldiers actually were issued with German style boots, low boots and the only replica that I was able to find that similar looked like the German ones are actually British ones and I'm using these for both my German and possibly in the future British or Ottoman gear um, they're made out of leather, uh, rough side out, smooth side in. I need to get some uh, leather conditioning because obviously you need to take care of your leather. Uh, here are the laces, leather laces. I just take them off because I'm waiting for my leather conditioner to come so I can treat them. Here I have some German socks. I mean, it's pretty basic. Uh, size 3. Obviously because of the uh, three stripes. I need to get some extra pair just to be safe. Uh, Patties, German field grey Patties. Uh, here's some scruffy parts. I was actually trying to age, well, not age, but get my uniform ready in a way. Because, you know, they come kind of fuzzy, the wool. So I had to shave it in a way. Um, Patties are fairly useful. Um... Germans used them when they figured out they were running out of leather and hey, these stuff are pretty useful. Why shouldn't we use them? And they did. They did use low boots and putties. So here we have putties. Um, another thing for uni uniform parts. Sadly, I don't have a German shirt yet, so I'm using a Swedish uh, field shirt, which is an alternative that you can do, but it is farb. Uh, I also need a collar, uh, some type of collar protective neck piece that they used to basically protect their neck from the wool of the uniform. Here I have my uh, German belt with Gott mit uns, which is basically God's with us. Obviously, most people know that who do reenacting. Um, it's the actual uh, First World War style. Uh, belt with the rough side out unlike the German World War two replicas This thing you really need to take care of it bef when you get it Most World War two belts are ready to use these not so much. You need to treat them I treat them with olive oil just to make them a bit softer, but I still need to get I'm still waiting for that leather conditional conditioner um, Here I have my Feldmütze which is basically the early war to late war field cap the Germans used. Uh, during the late war they stitched or put uh, some type of a camouflage strap on the red piece so it wouldn't attract any more like snipers and stuff basically. Yes, uh, I also kind of shaved the hats too just to get the wool kind of better looking in a way, more uniform. No more fuzzes. I'm trying to do that. Still needs some work. Going to the actual uniform parts. Camera would focus. We have a 
Feldhosen, which are basically uh, field trousers. These are actually German World War II M40 trousers, but pretty much uh, German M15 trousers and German M40 M37 trousers are pretty much the same thing. So you can use that. Um, more important thing, even though this is basically a, not really a combat uniform, you still need to carry your gas mask, canister and gas mask. Here we have the German gas mask. I changed the strap and also changed the actual suspension system, kind of, with a needle because at first it was kind of small, then I stretched the leather a bit to fit it better to my face, then this, the strap system became bigger <laughs> in result of that and it wasn't fitting me pretty well, so I had to kind of do some stuff to get it right. But this is one of those IMA replicas that they basically... <sighs> I can't hold this properly, sorry guys. They made a terrible mistake putting the eyepieces pretty low, they're supposed to be an inch or two higher. So yeah, that's that. Um, let me put that right over here. The tunic is the basic German M1915 uh, model tunic, if the camera would like to focus properly. Um, I mean, it's being basically it's my replacement one because the old one was stolen so yeah that's the inside it has pockets here you have a pocket for your bandage but i don't have a replica bandage which is kind of sad uh but later on the war uh, most guys didn't actually have bandages which is kind of sad um i need to get some personal items mainly um military pass and fill up Fill up those. I do have my salt book. I also need some lighters and stuff. Candles, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this is it. I hope you liked the video, Thomas. And sure, I helped kind of bit, kind of. I mean, you already have most of this stuff, but still. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you appreciate it. Bye.